Okay, first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and remove our air cleaner cover here and the filter and try to get access to the carburetor here. Okay, now we'll set that to the side. Now you have your two nuts here holding on your back air cleaner, okay? Before you can remove this in the back, there's just a breather tube, just pull that out, set it to the side. Your choke also has to come out, all right? So pull it all the way to the right, grab it from the back and the front, and just pop it out. And we'll go ahead and get our two nuts off here. And we'll get access to that there. And then I'll show you what we'll do on that side. So let's go ahead and get these off. And now you have access to your gasoline carb, and we'll show you the next step. Okay, now when we install our slim adapter on here, obviously these studs aren't going to be long enough. We're going to replace these. We'll do them one at a time, okay? What we're going to do is just get on the ends here, pop them loose, turn them out. Some of them will come out easy. Some of them are gonna be stubborn. Go ahead and get that one out. We will supply you with new stud extensions. Go ahead and get those in there. I do one at a time so I don't break the seal of the gasoline carburetor. You don't gotta lock them back in there so you're good to go there. Go ahead and do the same here. Lock those down. You can see the gas carb kind of moving a little bit on this one. Just kind of hold it up there. Get this one out. And we'll get our new one slid back in here. Okay, there's that. And we will show you the next step. Okay, now when we install our slim adapter on here, obviously now the studs will line up, but the choke mechanism that slid through this hose here, will it's obviously pulled away so it'll hit it. So what you need to do is cut it off from here all the way on an angle this way. And you can cut that off with a hacksaw. We'll do that and we'll show it to you. Okay, now we've cut that piece out of the air cleaner. You can see it right there. That's where the choke used to slide through. Now we can go ahead and make sure our gasket's on here. Put our slim adapter on. Your gasket's already on the back of this. Go ahead and get that up. You can see now that you have plenty of meat to get the nuts back on. Okay, we'll get that going. Tighten these up. All right, go ahead and get our air cleaner back on here. Filters in it. Get that tightened back on. And we'll get that tight. Pop our choke back on there. You can use that for the gasoline. You don't want to use it for the propane or natural gas. Make sure you install your air tube breather back in here. And that is that step there. Okay, now what we're gonna do is go ahead and mount our regulator assembly. Now, you can't mount it over on this side. The exhaust is there. You can't put it down by the frame because your tires are down there. So I'm gonna mount it right here, okay? You still have room to be able to change your filter and you'll still have room to pull. So what I'm gonna do is from the corner of the frame over here, we're gonna mark over two inches, okay? And we'll go up one inch from there, make our mark, okay? And then we're gonna go over five and three quarters of an inch, make a mark, come up one inch, just so we got it nice and level. All right, and then go ahead and get you a punch and then your hole. This will keep your drill bit from sliding on you. And then we'll go ahead and drill those out. Okay, now we're going to drill our holes. We're going to drill them out 5 sixteenths. Now you got the gas tank back here, so make sure you don't punch her all the way through. That's 
that step there. Okay, now we'll go ahead and mount our regular assembly up here. All your hardware will come with this also. Let's go ahead and get one started back here. And it's a hard reach back in here, so go ahead and get our flat washer and our nut back there. We got that one started. The other one's going to be a little bit harder, I think. Okay, get our flat washer on back here. Our lock washer. And our nut. This is going to be the fun part here. Probably can hold it back there and turn this one. Make it easier. There we go. I got it started. All right. And we'll go ahead and lock that down there and we will show you the next step. Okay. Now we'll go ahead and fasten these down. Here nice and tight. All right, got that. Now what we're going to do is our slim hose for our slim adapter here with the hose coming over. I'm just going to kind of bring that down and tie strap this to the frame here. Try to tuck it more towards the inside because we're going to feed that through. Get that, and then what we'll do is feed it through the back of the frame up. And that way it's kind of tucked in the frame there a little bit. And bring our clamp up. Alrighty. Got that there. And what I'll do is put the hose on first. Okay. And we'll clamp that down. And then you can kind of turn this as you feel to take the pressure off this. And pull her down a little bit. Kind of turn the hose. There we go. Go ahead and lock that down. And we'll go ahead and hook our propane up and get this thing running. Okay, now that we got everything done, what we'll do is go ahead and get our propane tape hooked up here. get our line hooked up to our connection. Now you don't need pipe dope here because it's a flare fitting. So let's go ahead and get that locked down. Set our tape on the ground here. Now this is your power elbow adjustment up here, okay? In as lean, out as rich. We'll set them as close as we can. Uh, on the back of here is your primer button. Make sure that your choke is off and running, okay? Um, you don't want to choke with alternative fuels because this requires vacuum to open. So make sure your switch is on. Hit your button. We can get to go. Hit our button again. Turn that fuel on. Okay, we got that. Let's open this up a little bit. Hit that button again. Alright, there we go. Now we'll go ahead and lock our jam nut down. And that's that step there. Okay, now we got it running on propane. For the natural gas steps, basically you're just going to eliminate this section here with the uh, bushing and run your natural gas directly straight into this. Now we also carry that hose and the quick connects. Uh, you'll see that on our website. So that's your natural gas setup there. Okay, that concludes our Briggs & Stratton 6,000 running watt, 7,500 starting that has the Briggs & Stratton 16 and a horsepower engine on it. 
Um, if you're interested in purchasing this kit, you can go to our website at PNG Technologies, or we could be reached at 734-992-2648. Now on this kit here, just to let you know that this is a custom kit built and designed specifically for this model here. So it's not a throw in a box kit, universal. Uh, this is a custom kit. So I want to thank you very much for watching the video. I hope this really helps out and uh, have a wonderful day.